How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Amanda Bros channel. It's your boy Big O Nuggets, and I come to you with a heavy, heavy heart because my hopes and my dreams have been absolutely crushed after reading this article. And I just wanted to talk about this with you real quick, and that is Battlefront 3. Now, we all know how Battlefront 2 went, you know, with the microtransactions and the pay to win. You know, I played it day one, and man, like, not even the first day, and people already had all purple cards and shit. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, this is crazy. The game was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Like, I still play I still play Battlefront 2 uh, uh, today. Uh, me and my boy Eagleheart on our Twitch channel on Fridays during our Star Wars streams. Uh, we like to play Battlefront 2 because, I mean, I still enjoy it. It's still beautiful. The graphics are beautiful. It's awesome. It just sucks that they cut all development of that game, Battlefront 2, for them to work on Battlefield 2042, for it to be one of the top 10 worst rated games on Steam right now. You know, oh man, it, it just, it pisses me off. Because like, all right, you guys are going to stop working on these games to work on this one game. And it's like, I, you know, in a, in a Battlefield game that we, I feel like a lot of people have been wanting for it to come out and just pretty much bomb. It's not like they dropped it half-assed. And I hate when game developers rush games like that. It's just horrible. But back to Star Wars, you know, Battlefront 2. You know, it, 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 it's just, it's a heart that I, a game that I hold dear to my heart and I still play it to this day. But it's just sad, the, you know, potential that they could have had with Battlefront 2. They really ruined, you know, you know, a lot of money that they could have potentially made with it. Especially with all these upcoming shows like, you know, the Book of Boba Fett, the Mandalorian, all these characters they could have added. You know, it sucks that the only way we can see that come to life now is through modders. Um, and, and it's funny that, Modders have created beautiful mods for Battlefront 2 that are honestly way better than a AAA studio like DICE. Like, have you guys seen, like, the Clone Wars, uh, the Clone Troopers, you know, outfits and certain different, you know, camos and, you know, and skins and stuff like that that look better than what EA uh, or DICE has dropped? And it's like, man, so... Only way you can really live that or play these all these upcoming characters is through mods. If you guys have any good mods, let me know. I'm trying to trying to run some mods, uh, and I want to try to play as Boba Fett or or Mando in Battlefront 2. But let's look at the article, guys. Pretty much that states uh, everything that you know we were talking about, and it says according to a noted insider, EA has rejected Dice's pitch for a third Star Wars Battlefront game and decisions that reportedly came down to licensing costs. So this is Tom Henderson, November 19th. You know, they tweeted this out. Battlefront 3 was a pitch title for DICE, but ultimately the title was shot down by EA due to licensing costs. It got turned down because it takes 20% more sales to make the same money, said one past developer. That, I mean, that that right there is just like, ah, man, this, it sucks because I would have loved to see a Battlefront 3. I would have loved to see all these new characters we're getting or they're bringing into the Star Wars universe for us to play in a, in a Battlefront 3 game and for, for them to be like, yeah, we're not even going to do it. Like, it's just it's just sad. It's very sad, the potential that Star Wars has, you know. And currently, I mean, the only two upcoming Star Wars games that we know of or have any kind of information of is the upcoming open world Star Wars game from Ubisoft. And we know that once they finish the their Avatar game that they're currently working on, uh, Ubisoft will begin to work on the open world Star Wars game. Then that might not be until 2023, 2024, uh, once they finish the development of the Avatar game. And again, the only other single player story driven game that we know of that has been pretty much uh, been a big you know rumor. Everybody's pretty much saying that we're going to get it. It's still up in the air. We're, we're not 100% sure, but that's a sequel to Star, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, there's been a lot of tweets from the Star Wars Twitter page and all that stuff that was been hinting to an upcoming title and there's supposed to be some kind of announcement in december regarding an upcoming video game so what i'm hoping that's pretty much star wars jedi fallen order 2 because i love the first one and it's great that they're coming back with single player games you know i feel like ea or dice or whoever because now uh, lucasfilm games has been opening up you know you know the the franchise you know star wars for other developers to come in and make games Hopefully, someone else can come in and really give us, you know, a Battlefront 3 or, like, a multiplayer Star Wars game that really is going to make the fans and, you know, and people new to Star Wars come in and really enjoy it. So, that's that's what I'm hoping for. Fingers crossed. Um, currently, 
the only other upcoming Star Wars game is Star Wars Hunters, uh, which is on the Switch and I believe on mobile too. And that's not gonna that's out on like a like a light beta release in other countries. Uh, as soon as I know if it's coming to the U.S., we're gonna make a video talk about it for Star Wars Hunters. And then we got uh, Knights of the Old Republic on the Switch that's out now as well. We're gonna be playing that on the channel uh, and on Fridays on our Twitch channel. We're gonna be playing some of that. So, I mean, it, it, oh man, I, I get I, like I said, it's just it's frustrating. You know, I, I, I want I wanted I really love Battlefront 2 and I wanted that game to be one of the biggest games and, and you know I have so much fun with it, but we'll see what EA does or you know Lucasfilm Games does from this point forward. Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, does this mean that we're never gonna get a Battlefront 3? Maybe we'll can get one in the future. Uh, let me know if you're a Battlefront 2 player, comment your Xbox or PSN in the chat or PC. Uh, if you're on Steam, let us know or um on EA, on the EA uh, EA Play, uh, let us know. I would love to run some games on Fridays. Come join us on the Twitch channel. I'm always playing Battlefront 2. We love that game. I'm on all systems, and, and I really enjoy playing Battlefront 2 with uh, with followers and, and and you know in the community. So um, with that being said, guys, again, heavy heart. We might not be getting a Battlefront 3 in anytime soon. Let me know your thoughts. Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And may the force be with you. For this is the way. Thank you, everybody.